experience the breathtaking beauty of the Dead Sea area with its wonderful nature reserve hikes, flowing streams and waterfalls, unique health enhancing properties, first class hotels, and of course, the unequaled experience of the Dead Sea itself. Even in the middle of winter, the Jerusalem tourists can jump into the car and within 40 minutes, experience the Dead Sea in all its splendor. The Dead Sea lies some 400 meters below sea level at the lowest point on the Earth's surface and is part of the Syrian East Africa Rift Valley, flanked by the Judean Mountains to the west and the Moab Mountains to the east. Having no outlet, the Dead Sea is a terminal lake, which loses huge amounts of water by evaporation into the hot, dry air. This results in high concentrations of salts and minerals in a unique composition. The high salt content of the lake makes any plant and animal life within it impossible, hence its name. However, in spite of its foreboding title, the sea and its region are very much alive. Many animals are drawn to the pond and streams of the nearby Ein Gedi Reserve, which also extends luxuriant flora. In addition, the Dead Sea area has recently become a flourishing center of health, rehabilitation, recreation, and beauty spas. The natural waters along the coast, rich in minerals and natural heat, offer relaxing and healthy bathing. The water's salinity, 10 times that of the Mediterranean, makes floating natural and effortless, and instills a sense of peace and tranquility. The air in the area is dry, rich in oxygen and free of any environmental pollution, and the temperatures are relatively high, even in the middle of winter. This nurturing environment draws many tourists to the region all year long. Alluvial deposits of the sea form much of the valued Dead Sea Mineral Mud, also known as Dead Sea Therapeutic Black Mud. The black mud is a mixture of many Dead Sea salts and minerals, and the organic elements from the water are all blended with the shoreline sand. The silicates content in the mud have the effect of a mask to the skin and are useful for cleansing and softening it, resulting in a vital glow. Applying Dead Sea mud on the skin also improves and stimulates blood circulation. Both general skin care and dermatological conditions can benefit greatly from the use of black mud. The Dead Sea is the only place in the world with this particular combination of spa qualities, and its uniqueness has been known for centuries. In days of old, Dead Sea water and salt were imported to Italy by Roman nobles. Judean asphalt, the bituminous substance rising to the surface of the lake, was used for many industrial and medicinal purposes. Plants growing in lakeside oases, especially balsam trees, produced valuable and highly sought-after cosmetics, perfumes, and medicinal substances. Their value was of such great economic importance that wars were fought for their possession, as when Mark Anthony conquered the Dead Sea area for Cleopatra. Today, the Dead Sea Works is a major industrial complex which for many decades has extracted potash, bromide, and other chemicals for worldwide exports.
The Dead Sea region features historical and religious sites of global importance. Amongst them is the prominent site of Masada. The story of the Great Revolt of Masada takes place between 66 and 74 CE. The events were recorded by Josephus Flavius, the commander of the Galilei, who was in Rome at the time, and later devoted himself to chronicling the revolt and its tragic outcome. In 66 CE, at the beginning of the First Jewish-Roman War against the Roman Empire, a group of Jewish extremists called the Sicarii overcame the Roman garrison of Masada. They settled on the plateau at the mountaintop, using it as a base for harassing the Romans. In 72 CE, the Roman governor Lucius Flavius Silva marched against Masada with the 10th Legion and laid siege to the fortress. After positioning troops all around the fort, he built a siege embankment against the western face of the plateau, demanding the Sicarii surrender. The siege lasted several months, until the Romans brought in a tower with a battering ram up the ramp, with which they began to batter the fortress wall. When all hope for victory was lost, Eleazar ben Yair, leader of the rebels, gave two speeches in which he convinced the leaders of the 960 members of the community that it would be better to take their own lives and the lives of their families than to live in shame and humiliation as Roman slaves. Because Judaism strongly discourages suicide, Josephus reported that the defenders had drawn lots and killed each other in turn, down to the last man, who would be the only one to actually take his own life. The account of the siege of Masada was related to Josephus by two women who survived the suicide by hiding inside a cistern along with five children, and repeated Eleazar ben Yair's speeches to Josephus. The site can be reached either by cable car from the Dead Sea side or by one of two trails, the Ramp Trail, a steep but relatively short trail ascending from the western parking lot, or the Snake Path, a longer, more moderate trail ascending from the eastern parking lot of Masada. Many take the trails at sunset or sunrise to fully experience the beautiful views. flat plateau of Masada measures at 600 by 300 meters. The exterior wall, built by Herod the Great, previous to the Sicarii's takeover, is 1,400 meters long and 4 meters wide. During Herod's reign, luxurious palaces were built on the plateau, in addition to well-stocked storerooms, cisterns, and a casemate wall. After having been destroyed by the Sicarii prior to the mass suicide, Many of the ancient buildings have now been restored from their remains and can be viewed at the site. Relics of the Sicarii settlement are also found here, a testimony of the lives and deaths of the rebels. The Sicarii lived mainly in rooms along the casemate walls, as attested by stoves, niches for food storage, and other finds from daily life unearthed in them. Articles of clothing, Baskets, household implements, and other items were also found in piles of ash, apparently burned intentionally by their owners so as not to fall into the hands of the enemy. On the northern edge of the steep cliff stood the elegant palace villa of King Herod. <laughs>